Planting seeds. Think for a moment of a tomato plant. A healthy plant can have more than a hundred tomatoes on it. In order to get this tomato plant with all these tomatoes on it, we need to start with a small seed. That seed doesn't look like a tomato plant. It sure doesn't taste like a tomato plant. If you didn't know for sure, you would not even believe it could be a tomato plant. However, let's say you plant the seed in fertile soil and you water it and let the sun shine on it. When the first little tiny shoot comes up, you don't stomp on it and say, that's not a tomato plant. Rather, you look at it and say, oh boy, here it comes. And you watch it grow with delight. In time, you continue to water it and give it lots of sunshine and pull any weeds away. Then you might have a tomato plant with more than a hundred luscious tomatoes. It all began with that one tiny seed. It is the same with creating a new experience for yourself. The soil you plant is in your subconscious mind. The seed is the new affirmation. The whole new experience is in this tiny seed. You water it with affirmations. You let the sunshine of positive thoughts beam on it. You weed the garden by pulling out the negative thoughts that come up. And when you first see the tiniest little evidence, you don't stomp on it and say, that's not enough. Instead, you look at this first breakthrough and exclaim with glee, oh boy, here it comes, it's working. Then you watch it grow and become your desire in manifestation. The paragraph you've just heard is from a book written by Louise Hay. And we really like the principle that's put across in this article. And we believe that anybody can follow this by just growing some seeds for themselves, nurturing the plants that grow, and in turn, you will nurture yourself. Thanks.